the box I was expecting for three months now finally came. And it was late, to quote Albrecht and Trotti. TennoCon 2024 ended right about a month and a half ago and here I am receiving a package a month late. Now this is not the fault of DE, they sent this more than three months ago. Honestly, they are nothing but supportive of the creators. This is the fault of the shipping companies. I live half the way across the world and shipping can get very annoying. Also, don't even try asking me about the customs. Now, even though the package was late, I was able to keep myself in the dark and haven't looked up what the other creators have shown with their unboxings. But this year is going to be a bit different because the customs have actually written what is in the package which is terrible. Previous year we waterboarded Barrow if I'm right because of his credit embezzling, but anyways, let's now open everything. Bubble wrap is the first thing we got out of the package, honestly I wasn't expecting it, but this has to be the most interesting thing since I've opened the box, or a cylinder? Or a tube? This is, this is more like a tube, isn't it? I got myself some more things below the bubble wrap. First off were buttons for a keyboard, inspired by old computer tech and 1999. I remember having a keyboard in this exact color back in the day, so it is quite nostalgic for me. The old ones that had a very circular port, not the USB one we have right now. It was, it was weird, man. The second thing I got were a bunch of Canadian maple syrup candy. The candy? is really fucking good it's not too sweet i don't know if it's maple syrup candy or something but i like it mm -hmm. this made me feel like i want to say a hey, and tell people i'm sorry all the time luckily my slavic blood protected me from having good manners so that is a plus or a minus i i, I don't know the last thing we got is a wrapped up desk mat. Look at Wally smiling at us, isn't he cute? While I try to open this, I'll say that I did read this was supposed to be inside of the crate because of the customs, but I didn't expect it to be so big. That's what she said. It has everything on it. Wally smiling, a don't be late logo, which is what my package was yet again, so we'll have to repeat it. A bunch of monitors with hands wanting to have a party of a lifetime, a Hey Kiddo jump scare, a X-52 and Arthur's Blade with a Pick Your Poison logo, Kalimos counting down to midnight, I absolutely love the half skull and half normal face for the cat, oh it's so beautiful, a Loch symbol and a Hex symbol, Owie's quote about starting over, Another monitor person infested thing, holding an old Nokia, and for the end, Albrecht saying, this is not the way to remember me. Honestly, I was quite surprised at how good it looks. I already found a use for it on my desk, however, it needed some quality testing before I could use it, you know, just in case. Freaking cats, man, they are, they are something else, aren't they? For the end, I also got a little pamphlet, which I will read right now. Whether you're joining us in person or celebrating with us online, we can't wait to show you what's in the store for Warframe's update 1999. Inside this tube, you will find a custom 1999-themed desk mat, featuring art by the amazing Rebecca Veres, and 1999-themed keycaps. We hope both these items help you get with the times. Also included are some assorted Canadian candies. We hope you enjoy. Oh, Canada! <laughs> happy TennoCon 2024, all the best, the Warframe team. I'm very happy with everything I got here and grateful for what DE does for us creators. Besides the game, is the small things that make this hobby of mine truly worth it. Thank you DE and you guys for bringing me where I am today. But sadly, I have to say that you were late. By a freaking month and a half. Shipping companies, get your shit together, it's not COVID anymore. No more corona crisis or whatever. Jesus.